Hello, my name is Hugh, welcome to my workshop um, and to my channel. Today's project is going to be a collaboration with a gentleman called Graham, Graham Butler. Um, I've mentioned Graham before on my channel, he is a phenomenal wood artist. Um, not a, he is an artist, but also he's of, I believe he was a commercial wildlife artist. And a while ago I saw him make a, a walking cane and he painted um, a motif on, on the handle. And I said, I've always wanted to make one of those, but obviously I can't paint. Um, I can't draw. <laughs> so Graham very kindly said, well, you make the handle and I'll paint it for you. So that's what's going to happen. So I've got some... Welsh oak here and this was given to me by a friend called Alex who's got a, a joinery shop in Cardiff and has had for nearly 30, or 30 odd years um, and does a lot of uh, bespoke work uh, especially for Welsh institutions so and when he does that they insist that he only uses wood from Wales so this is Welsh oak and um, this is actually an offcut from a, a staircase he made. So um, I did show a picture of all the bits and pieces Alex gave me a while ago. Um, but amazing wood. So I've already resawn it, um, and I've drawn the design on there. So I'm just going to cut this out with a bandsaw. And then I'll be going outside to do it because I'll be using two handheld power, power machines. One the Proxon power carver and then a fingernail uh, belt sander. Both of which will create a heck of a lot of dust. And as you may know I've only got a little workshop. And I really don't want to fill everything in here with dust so I'll be working outside. So yeah, the plan is I'm going to carve this. Um, and then give it to Graham. Graham's going to do his bit, which I'm not. I know what it is, but I'm not telling you because that would spoil his video. And then Graham's going to give it back to me, and then I'll put it on a hazel uh, shank that I already have ready. So I'll put links to Graham's channel up there and down there. So let's get cutting this out, and then let's get set up for outside. So there we have the shape. Um, for those of you who might be interested, another new blade in here, and that's a 6 TPI 3 16 skip tooth um, blade. So, right, let me get set up outside and uh, we'll start carving this with a power tool.
Hello again. Well, for those of you who don't like sanding videos, sorry about that. That was all sanded. The uh, reason for that was I thought there was um, an Arbitec type um, tungsten carbide uh, grinding, wood grinding disc in the, in the box, but there wasn't. So I've ordered one, it should be here tomorrow. But here it is. Um, I'm first attempt. I'm really happy considering it was all done by sanding. Um, I've marked one, two, three, because they're all different. And I thought this is going to be my cane. Not that I need one yet. So I had a a large spindle of African blackwood. So I thought I'm going to treat myself, and I'm going to have African blackwood caps on there, there and there and that's long enough it'll give me a transition enough transition to get this in which is the hazel shank which I'm going to use for this stick so it means drilling a hole in there 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 and there and gluing those onto that so I'm just going to trim these up a little bit but not to the shape because I'll finish that off once the glue's dried tomorrow. So let's get cracking on that. And there we go. Well, this is the following day. This has been in the house overnight drying up. That arrived this morning, early, which is what I thought was in the box. <laughs> Not cheap. So, I've got this set up. I've got to do it in the workshop today, unfortunately. We've got heavy rain today, so being outside is not an option. So, let me get my desk mask on and uh, get these to round. I won't show you any more sanding. There was enough of that yesterday. So I'm going to get these round, sand it up, uh, give us another light sanding, and then get it in the box and uh, get it off the grain. So, so dust mask on. Sorry about that, I didn't realise the battery ran out on the camera, but that's what it's going to look like before sanded. So I'm just going to do those two off camera, because uh, it's the same as with that one, and uh, do some sanding, and then I'll show you when it's ready to hand it over to Graham. So I'll see you in a bit. There you go, Graham. Over to you, mate, for your magic. See you soon. Hello again. Well, as you just saw, I handed that handle over to Graham. That was a couple of days ago, um, or a few days ago, and Graham's done his magic, and he videoed that, and he's actually put in his video out at the same time as this one's going out, so I'll put a link to Graham's video up there. Please do go and check it out. Um, 
I know what he's done, but I haven't got a clue how he does it, so I'm just going to be glued to that. So, mm, there'll be another video in a week or so's time of me finishing the walking stick, putting the handle onto the shank, um, because I'm in the middle of a project, um, which is quite lengthy at the moment, um, it's taken up all my time. So, I look forward to, to showing you the, the finished cane. Um, so, if it's your first time here and you've liked what you've seen, um, you can subscribe through my icon at the bottom, and then if you click all on the notification bell, YouTube lets you know when I upload my videos, which is normally a Thursday morning. All you diehards, as ever, Jochen Marian, uh, thank you very much. I'm so pleased you're still sticking with me. So, yeah, if you've liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't, give it a thumbs down. Either way, leave a comment. I reply to them all, and I read them all as well. Um, I had great fun on, on this one. I will be making more. Um, I've, I've bought quite a few shanks, so and I've got enough wood to make all different sorts of handles. So, yeah, great fun. So, yeah, I'm off to watch Graham's video. Uh, there won't be any stills because there's nothing for me to show um, but yeah I'll post a video when I get it all finished so all that's left for me to say now is thank you very much Jochen Marian please stay safe take care I'll see you next week and well